Well, hello there. So, working on video number two of the same project. Um, this is the second pat or second uh, leather frog, but this is the one that's going to have the Icelandic veg, uh, veg visor on it. And I'm going to use some of the fake alligator hide, um, which I have some of the parts right here. So you can actually see, there it is. This is gonna be the backside. We're also gonna put some on the front um, and we're gonna get those stitched up and dyed a little different to create a little more contrast. Um, fairly simple to the same to the one that we did yesterday, but we're gonna be doing a new one today. Um, I'm gonna go through uh, pretty quick. Uh, it's gonna be a little more cut down, uh, maybe a little faster video because the video that should be posting here shortly uh, it was a bit long um, I also lost some footage I was having some footage of me stitching up the uh, the frog on my machine and somehow I lost it so uh, without a delay here we go and we'll start the new process all right we have the components laid out here we have our template with our new and updated whole configuration. Uh, we have two more alligate, fake uh, alligator hide. No alligators were hurt in the making of this. Uh, this is the alligator backing. This is the main plate. And this is the already dyed uh, vegivisor uh, and sealed. So that is now ready to go. Uh, got all the components put together so we can get a move on this and To um, stick with the scaly theme of everything, uh, I have decided to go with the two inch serpent eating infinity serpent. And this is gonna be the ring on the unit on the frog. So basically, the way it's gonna it's gonna play out, see if I can get this in your direction so you can actually see it, is that everything is gonna fall into place like this. The Vegivisor actually has an orientation. Um, the most complex of the forks is always at the bottom. So that gets laid there. This goes up top. It's gonna partially be covered by the. Uh, it's gonna go in here, hopefully, yep, okay. It's gonna go up here, 
and this is going to be stitched on this piece right here and then the next piece which is going to cover these holes as well so once i glue it on then stitch it on then i'll have to go through and punch it through the other side and this piece is going to go like that yes just like that it's going to have a gap in between here and there and the bevel and then the serpent ring is going to go like this and then of course this is going to go on the back side so that's pretty much the layout i'm going to start getting everything glued up and prepped uh, to go into position so that i can punch the holes through and put the i'm going to put an eyelet on this piece because i want those ends to stay locked down um yeah should be there's pretty much the overall Now we're gonna go do the full stitch up. We're gonna do a stitch on all of these edges and then we'll come back and we'll cut the holes out for each side and then we'll put the, um, the ring in and we'll do the lace or the leather strapping. And um, we're getting very close to, and you can see the, the, the British tan is a much lighter and then we put mahogany edge and then we got a nice mahogany backer i'm gonna go back there and that should be a pretty nice piece and then we're gonna do um i think we're gonna do mahog we're gonna do light or uh, uh british tan for the strap and then we'll do british tan for the strapping on the top i think that'll look pretty good and we're gonna do uh, brown stitching all the way around. Kind of maybe we'll, no, maybe I'll do red stitching. Nah, I think we'll just do, we'll do brown. And, uh, and then we'll do the highlight coat and get all that done. And then we're gonna put rivets uh, in for the, uh, hold the loop instead of stitching. We're just gonna put two rivets in and that should look, we'll make sure that there's silver rivets and should look pretty good. All right, stitching went real well. Uh, there will be a, a little bit of a video of that of it finished up, but you can see all of it stitched in really well. Back looks clean. We're gonna cut. Uh, we're gonna cut these out uh, so that we can put the the rest in. The hide holding down really nice. I'm I'm actually really pleased with the inserts as a whole. Um, so I'm gonna get the rest finished up and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll get it all glued together.
All right, glue's all tacky on both pieces. I already got my outline here, so I kind of know where everything's going. the stitching is done and we're all one solid chunk now so I'm gonna put the two eyelets in and uh, we're gonna go over it with a uh, highlight and get in all those grooves and and get all this so that it's just beautiful and we'll have the the uh, the belt straps and then we'll be done with the uh, the leather frog um, here it is it's got the faux alligator in the back it's got its straps on uh, it's got the cool serpent eating infinity uh, two inch ring it's got the alligator in the front it's got the vegivisor uh, medallion stitched in all stitched all the way around um, Turned out really good. I'm I'm really quite pleased with it. Um, if uh, if you remember the other one that we did, that was the one that we did last night. And uh, now there's two. So uh, good day. Got two done. I'll be posting the video uh, for the first one and then this one's going to be going up probably tomorrow so they'll be in sequence um so i hope you like watching both of them uh like and subscribe leave questions in the comments and i'll try my best to answer them uh this one is going to be going up on ebay uh real shortly uh as soon as it dries and i'll seal it tomorrow and do some good uh photo shoots of it and then this one's going up on ebay uh it's probably going to go with an axe and a sheath all in a combo deal um, all in a Viking style. Um, so if I have that posted, I'll try to leave it in links. Um, again, thanks and have a good night.